Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brett. Another convention has come and gone. This is a big one at New York Comic Con, and there was some massive news that came out of it. Like San Diego Comic Con, I kind of want to do the winners and losers of this convention, because it's been an interesting one and a huge shift from San Diego. Now, in San Diego, I gave uh, um, you know a big loss to DC Comics. I thought uh, their, their press operation was wasn't all that great. Uh, they had some missed opportunities to get some stuff out there. Um, and a lot of the announcements kind of, I think, went under the radar. Uh, and then there was a lot of, like, middling announcements from publishers that didn't really get probably the, the hook that it needed. Uh, New York, is, I thought, was interesting because really two things that came out as winners, and the rest of it was kind of it. Uh, and I think that's the really interesting aspect is, you know, there was a lot of news that came out of there. Crunchyroll had a lot of announcements as far as anime, uh, Kodansha, Yen Press, lots of announcements for, for manga. Dynamite did their usual kind of announcements they used to, to hit up uh, the next previews coming out. And that way, a lot of things were very standard for those publishers. Uh, but there's really two that kind of came out. The first one I have to say is Charles Soule. Uh, Charles is a friend of the site. I remember him back in the day when he was uh, uh, doing 27 for, uh, I want to say it was Top Cow. Um, no, was it Top Cow? Or oh, whatever. It was Image. Uh, one of the Image prints. Uh, I've known him ever since. We met him at Baltimore Comic Con like many, many years ago. It was almost as old as the site, probably 15 years ago at least. Uh, but Charles, I think, had a, a great weekend. Is that he, um, he's been doing a lot with Star Wars um, and some creator-owned stuff. And we get a mix of both this weekend. Three different series was announced with him. Two more with Marvel uh, and one more creator-owned. Um, first is creator-owned is Lucky Devils with Ryan Brown. The two of them did 8 Billion Genies, which was uh, a huge hit. And I'm fully expecting the Lucky Devils will, uh, will be as well with Marvel. Uh, he is on Eddie Brock Carnage. That's going to be a huge one uh, as far as series. And then Daredevil, Cold Day in Hell, which is kind of the old man Logan version of Daredevil. Uh, Charles previously had written Daredevil and did an amazing job because Charles is a lawyer. Daredevil is a lawyer. Worked out great. Uh, but the, also the bigger news with the Daredevil, Cold Day in Hell, is he's doing it with Steve McNiven. Uh, I think that, to me, is, is really cool. Steve hasn't done something for Marvel for quite a while. I think they said like a decade or something like that. Like it's It's been quite a while. Um, so, you know, great writer, great artist. I, this is going to be a highly anticipated comic. I think it's out in February, might be January or February, but uh, out in 2025, uh, it's going to be a hot comic. But I think the big winner, they were the loser at San Diego. So this is a huge, huge, huge coup for them. A coup for them is DC Comics. DC Comics came out with the biggest news of New York Comic Con. If you don't believe me, you can hit the socials. I know I can look at our, uh, our our traffic. DC blew it up every single story. It was amazing. The biggest news is the return of Vertigo. Yes, the imprint that I'd say in many ways like built indie mainstream indie comics and uh, created some like some that are you know modern day classics is back. DC Vertigo is going to return. The first is Nice House by the Sea is getting a reprint of the first three issues with the DC Vertigo logo on it. There's not much else we know about it. That's the interesting thing. When DC will go and make some bigger announcements, that's a big question, and uh, I'm excited to see it. Bigger thing is, what does that mean for DC Black Label, their adult line? We don't really know, I mean, it's going to be interesting to see. I can see where there's going to be a division between the two and how to do the two. But DC is clearly got a plan, and they are executing it. Uh, so this is going to be really interesting to see what they do with Virgo, Vertigo and what comes out from it. Other big news is Hush 2. Jim Lee, Je uh, I think Jeff Loeb are uh, back for that. It's going to be a, a huge, huge, huge comic. It's going to be in the pages of Batman. Uh, for the, I don't think they actually said how many issues. They might have. They might have said, uh, but I don't remember off the top of my head. But it's going to start up in Batman, and of course that's going to be a, a big deal. Uh, Absolute seems to be, their Absolute line seems to be killing it. They uh, announced uh, Absolute Ma uh, Martian Manhunter. Uh, they've also announced, not Absolute, but Justice League. Uh, the Atom should be uh, a, a pretty big one. I mean, it was one where they were just announcing like a killer series with killer creative team after killer series after creator, killer creative team. And what's amazing to me is we put up the slits, slits uh, pretty regularly. 
the D.C. January solicits went huge as well. It wasn't just news coming out of New York. D.C. as a whole was being driven to huge heights as far as interest and it included what was coming out in January. And to me, I think that's really, really intriguing is that it bled uh, past what ju was just the news at New York Comic Con, uh, but also to other uh, announcements as well. That's a great sign. That means people are really, really interested in seeing what DC is doing and what's coming from DC. Um, so overall, kudos to them. I think hands down, by a mile, they won New York Comic Con. Uh, and I'm really excited to see what they do uh, in the next couple of months. And of course, 2025, sort of Vertigo is going to be massive. It's clear their absolute line is, uh, is a hit. Um, Hush 2 like, blew up and, and people uh, clearly were excited about that. Uh, and yeah, I mean, it's just, it was like announcement after now. It was, it was just fantastic the amount of stuff they were they were uh, announcing and, and uh, hit and hit big. So uh, apparently they were holding back at San Diego. I, th I think that's the interesting thing. You know, they are on the West Coast now. So uh, they kind of held back in their hometown and then planted a flag in the rival New York, in their old school neighborhood of New York City. So uh, kudos to them, bravo to them. Uh, they, they blew up and blew up big. Uh, so we'll see. I mean, uh, New York kind of wraps up the year of major conventions. So we're going to have to see uh, what's coming up. I know, I mean, there, there are still some some to come. Um, and of course, January will kick off a whole new round of conventions. And we're excited to see what 2025 brings for everybody. So again, congrats to DC. Congrats to Charles. Congrats to everyone from New York. Uh, I would say no one was really a loser. They all had some pretty solid announcements. Uh, just DC and Charles stood out. So Kudos, bravo, and we'll see where it all goes. So, um, of course, you can catch all the news about New York Comic Con at graphicpolicy.com. Of course, follow us on the various socials. There's still more to come from, from uh, uh, New York Comic Con. Lots to trickle out. Uh, two, over 200,000 people attended the convention again. Uh, to the convention as a whole, congrats. Uh, and uh, on to next year and some, uh, some big celebrations coming up for New York City and the United States as a whole that it sounds like the convention is going to get into, so that's going to be pretty awesome. Uh, but as a whole... Always appreciate you watching. You can catch the latest comic news at graphicpolicy.com or on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, Instagram, TikTok, Mass on Threads, Blue Sky, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. Until next time, keep reading those comics and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.